Um, this is a video of the stuff that I found uh, with Linda uh, last weekend and also what I found by myself this weekend. Um, as you can see, some really, really nice phimosomas, really well preserved. Um, he's cool. Uh, also, found a whole bunch of um, new selenia sites. Um, some are perfect. Some of these little guys are perfect. So, they're cool. Uh, let's see, what else? We have an ammonite that I found sticking out of some uh, shale. He's pretty cool. I haven't really gotten him out of his uh, matrix yet. But Oh, here's another surprise. Here's a huge heart urchin. I found him in uh, Salado. Uh, by far the biggest uh, hard urchin I ever found. I mean, that that's compared to him, what I usually find. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, some little Selenia Mexicana over here, these little guys. Some uh, little tiny Loreolas. I also found a great uh, Selenia Mexicana site uh, where they're perfect. Look at that little guy. Really proud of the, them. Um, let's see what else did I oh I found this guy in um, Shoal Creek it's an imprint of a it looks like a clam uh, so let's see anything else here to report you know these cool little snails here uh, uh, Nithias of course are always nice to have um, let me see what else there was something else I was going to tell you Oh, I like when uh, the, the urchins are kind of sticking out of a out of the matrix like that. It makes them look kind of cool. So I probably won't take him out of the uh, matrix. So um, anyway, so these are all of the stuff that I've gotten recently here. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Linda and I found just a ton of really nice, totally inflated heart urchins, which are always cool to have around and let's see uh, well you can see all the selenia is there and once again look who's keeping me company noodles okay so anyway that's it folks another day from uh, Ranger Bob collecting fossils in Central Texas out